This is Chewbacca, the cheetah, one of Africa's most iconic and famous cheetahs. These beautiful animals are found across large swaths of Africa and parts of Iran. The cheetah can reach top speeds of up to 121 kilometers per hour, meaning it is undoubtedly the fastest land animal. Despite its fearsome reputation, a new study published in the journal Genome Biology reveals that this incredible predator has had a difficult past, having lost most of its genetic variation over the last 100,000 years as it migrated out of North, North America. America. Yeah, you heard me right. Cheetahs originated in North America. All right, so before I begin today's video, just wanted to remind you guys of my previous videos on ancient animals of America. We have proven already, check out my video on the horse. The horse originated in North America and went into Asia and Africa. This is the video right here, the horse in America, pre-Columbian times, deconstructing a Eurocentric myth, origins of the horse. Make sure you look out for it. Another video I got right here is what Lion King? Origin of cats, dogs, carnivores, and mammals in America. Yes, we had our own lion. It was way bigger, way more majestic. When we're talking about mammals coming out and walking on land, that happened here. Check out the video. Carnivores as well. There's a lot of proof correlation showing that carnivores originated here. Cats and dogs in America. Check out this video as well. This is world's oldest mammal fossils found in America. So I'm not making that up. Mammals first came out of the water. If we're going with that whole story right here in America, but we do know in the creation story in Genesis, it's almost like the same thing. You know, animals came about after the land came out. So we got the Brasilodon quadrangularis here. Make sure to check this video out. I also got this video, Ancestors of Elephants all over America. Origin of proboscideans, ancestors of all elephants today. Mount effigies, they found elephant pipes in the mounds and petroglyphs with elephants, meaning people saw elephants here in America and drew them. Make sure to check this video out. We have a great case of people drawing elephants and one of our recent videos on Huella Tlaco archaeological site in Mexico. Geological uranium tests are dating this site to up to 250,000 years old. They found a Macedon pelvis bone with an engraving of an ancestor of elephants. Okay, this is in Mexico. Make sure to check that video out if you haven't. So don't worry about having to look for all these videos. I created a playlist, uh, Origin of Animals in America, The True Eden. 
I've got all the videos there and I'm going to also include the cheetah video of today in this playlist so you guys can access these videos a lot quicker, a lot easier. So cheetahs migrated from North America to Africa a hundred thousand years ago, huh? Into Africa, not out of Africa theories. We're talking about facts here. We're talking about real science here. One of their most cherished animals, which is, yeah, today a native of Africa. This animal's ancestors are from America, the true old world. Cheetahs descend from a relative of American pumas with their fossil records extending across the Americas, Europe, and Asia, according to new research. Huh? This is a couple years back, but still relevant. ScienceDaily.com. Cheetahs migrated from North America, Biomed Central. The cheetah, Asinonix ubatus, all right, that's its scientific name, is now at home on the African plains, but it started migration 100,000 years ago from North America, from North America, towards its current habitat. The research found that the migration from North America was costly for the species, triggering the first major reduction in their gene pool. The cheetah Asinonix jubastus is now at home. The modern African cheetah is found across eastern and southern Africa, but it is highly endangered because of their small free-ranging population and inbreeding. Researchers from St. Petersburg State University, Russia, in collaboration with BGI, China, and CCF, Namibia, sequence the genome from a male Namibian cheetah called Chewbacca, okay, and six other wild cheetahs from Tanzania and Namibia. This gave further insight into the species evolutionary history and the breadth of genome impoverishment, which elevates juvenile mortality, causes extreme abnormalities in sperm development, and increases vulnerability to infectious disease outbreaks, all right? So Modern cheetahs have these vulnerabilities, as they call them, or imperfections in their gene. I'm going to read why. A total of 18 cheetah genes showed damaging mutations, and one gene in particular, aka P4, showed a large number of mutations which could harm sperm development and may explain why cheetah have a large proportion of defective sperm, and hence their low reproductive success. The cheetah is descended from a relative of American pumas, and their fossils record extends across the Americas, extend across the Americas all over. Cheetahs, yeah guys, cheetahs used to roam in your backyard. Europe and Asia, the species has suffered two population bottlenecks, an event whereby the population is rapidly reduced due to environmental factors. Hmm? Well, I wonder what those factors were. We talking about major floods? The first of these took place 100,000 years ago around the late Pleistocene, a geological period shaped by repeated glaciations, when cheetahs started to move toward Asia, across the barren land bridge, and then traveled south to Africa. Okay, we're talking about from America into Asia, a reverse barren land migration. All right, and then what? Into Africa. This migration was punctuated with dwindling populations and limited gene flow due to the individual's own vast territory boundaries, measuring 300 and 800 square miles, thereby increasing incestuous maiden. So you see what happened? They didn't have access to other cheetah clans where they can mate with, so they were doing it with their own families, their own kids, their own brothers, sisters, and this is why they have very defectuous genes today. The second bottleneck around 10, 12,000 years ago further reduced numbers leading to further loss of endemic variability observed in modern cheetahs. This is because cheetahs disappeared from North America when the last glacial retreat caused an abrupt extinction resulting in the loss of many large animals, including cheetahs and pumas from North America. Cheetahs accept skin grafts from unrelated cheetahs as if they were clones, as if they were what? Clones. Cheetahs are clones. African cheetahs. Clones from what? From the original cheetahs of ancient America? Oh, uh oh. The genome analysis suggests that this is partly due to the loss of a few immune-related genes and dramatic loss of diversity in the cheetah's 
flagella genes. The variation is so limited that it is far below that observed in inbred dogs and cats, even worse than inbred dogs and cats. Tests carried out by the researchers show that the cheetah has lost 90 to 99% of the genetic variation typically seen in outbred mammals. Okay, 90 to 99%. Literally got like a clone that is still around, literally. The researchers conclude that this latest insight into the history and adaptation of the endangered cheetah should be useful in efforts to sustain and increase cheetah population numbers in their present and former range habitats. Again, cheetahs migrated from North America. Any questions? Yeah, so, you know, we always grew up thinking that all these animals like the lion, horse, camel, cheetah were all exclusive to like Africa and Asia, you know, nothing to do with America. And now we're finding out all these animals are actually originated in North America. It says the cheetah, Asinonix ubatus, all right? Again, that's his name, is a large cat native to Africa, just like there's native Americans. Anybody living in America is native to America, right? But like in this case, it doesn't mean they originated there. Just like the cheetah didn't originate in Africa. We just read it's from America. Again, Asinonix jubastus. All right. Genome biology dot biomedcentral.com. Genome biology says genomic legacy of the African cheetah. Asinonix jubatus, huh? That's the one. Here, the genome sequence of wild-born African cheetahs reveals extreme genomic depletion in SNV incidence, SNV density, SNV of coding genes, MHC class 1 and 2 genes, and mitochondrial DNA SNVs. Cheetahs' genomes are on average 95% homozygous compared to the genomes of the outbred domestic cat, Virunga mountain gorilla, inbred Abyssinian cat, Tasmanian devil, domestic dog, and other mammalian species. Demographic estimators impute two ancestral population bottlenecks, one 100,000 years ago, coincident with cheetah migrations out of the Americas and into Eurasia and Africa. Okay? Out of America, meaning they originated in America. We're in the Harbor Library Office for Scholarly Communication, all right? Scholarly communication they're also letting you know that they came out a hundred thousand years ago out of america and into eurasia and africa all right you can find these articles online this is real science these are not theories these are not people trying to hate on africa the national library of medicine also letting you know that the cheetah with migrations out of Americas and into Eurasia and Africa. All of them telling you the same thing. So not only are the ancestors of the African cheetahs from America, we actually had our own type of cheetah. Yeah, the American cheetah. So it says here, it's either of two feline species of the extinct genus Miracinonyx, endemic to North America, all right? They're saying Pleistocene epic 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago. Some other studies suggest even further back. Just off the top here in Wikipedia, it shows you that they were all across the Americas, especially North America, Wyoming. Talking about some fossils here in Maryland and Arkansas, as well as in Nevada. Again, they're called the Mira Sinonics, all right? That's their like, species name, I guess. But again, we had our own cheetah over here, right? running through all over North America and their genetics was perfect was from the origin was from creation just so you guys can get an idea this is some drawings of the American cheetah used to roam all over North America hunting you know competing with the other big cats because again cheetahs once roamed North America all right they roamed North America they originated in North America yeah, we're just talking about the American cheetah, world's fastest animal. You should just be chilling up in the plains. Fossil remains of Miracinonics have been found across the United States and as far south as Mexico. 
Fossils of Entrumani have been found in Arizona, Florida, Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, South Carolina, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Again, a whole one in Wyoming, also in West Virginia, in Hamilton Cave. There, the cheetah lived with and competed with other large cats like jaguars, saber-toothed cats, right? We're talking about West Virginia. And also have been found in Florida, Texas, Colorado, Georgia, basically everywhere in California. This is a jaw they found in Arizona of the cheetah, the American cheetah. You guys can see, pretty cool. Again, American cheetah, National Park Service. Late Pleistocene Paleocology and Large Mammal Taphonomy Natural Trap Cave, Wyoming. In here, they found this, an intact uh, skeleton of an American cheetah. Okay, look at that. American cheetah, we had our own, the original. And also in this cave, they found lions. Yeah, it says here, figure seven, top, partially articulated lion skeleton during excavation, bottom skull of the same line. We're talking about Wyoming, all right? We're just talking about the original ancestors of these African animals in America. The Pleopleistocene cheetah like cat Mira Sinonix in Expectatus of North America. This is from Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology, Volume 10, Number 4. You guys can uh, check it out. All right, we had cheetahs here. So I hope it's clear. This iconic African, so-called African animal. It's native to Africa today, but it originated. It comes out of America and went into Africa. So when we're talking about a Garden of Eden containing all these animals, We've already proven many of these animals originated in America. More and more, you guys are going to see, they're going to start spilling the beans and letting you know where most of the animals of the world actually originated from. Again, cheetahs migrated from North America to Africa 100,000 years ago. Facts over feelings. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for tuning in. Much love and respect. Pura Vida. Hawaii.